Hey, my name is Steve Holleran and I'm a cinematographer from Los Angeles, California. So recently I shot a film called Boneyard Ballet, which was a Canon release film for the new camera, the C300 Mark III. It's set in an airplane boneyard following a ballerina dancing through an abandoned 747 and then off the end of the wing. It's an ode to the art of flight, human and mechanical, and it grew out of my love and passion for flying. The idea for Boneyard Ballet for me came from backpacking trips I used to take with my dad. So we would drive up that road past the Mojave Air and Spaceport there and he'd point out old airplanes that he used to fly or that he knew about. And he would tell me stories about flying and I became really fascinated with the whole location. So when I started to think about where I could put a ballerina, somewhere unique to juxtapose her and this abandoned space, I thought, wow, the Boneyard would be perfect and that's where it came from. Something we wanted to do on the shoot with the C300 Mark III was show its mobility show how it could be used on a small crew in a run and gun situation in a lot of different ways quickly. So we put it on a tarot car, we built it handheld with bright tangerine accessories, we put it on a gimbal and ran it around both the wing and the interior of the plane and we also put it on a drone and we did that all in two days trying to do it with minimal crew so that we could mimic the actual productions that happen like this in real life. So it is true, I do a lot of handheld on my films, although in Boneyard Ballet I use stabilization a lot more. I did that because the film was about magic and lyricism. A ballerina appears out of nowhere in the middle of a plane. So I didn't want it to feel real, I wanted it to feel out of body and surreal. So I used uh, gimbal a lot and I used image stabilizer on the Canon C300 Mark III so I'd be doing little handheld moves and have the stabilizer on to help smooth things out. So we had a really cool opportunity to use all of Bright Tangerine's new accessories and I hadn't had a ton of time to play with them in the past, so this was fun to just immerse them right into the action and use them in a real life situation. I thought the left field was amazing. I loved the way it went together, how modular it was, and how lightweight it was. It had a huge impact on how quickly we were able to do things on the shoot. So another cool thing I got to use on this shoot was Bright Tangerine's Titan Arm. The Titan Arm is like a no arm. It was connecting our monitor to the camera body. And I really liked it because it was responsive and I could actually just use pressure to change it in the moment. And I like doing that. I like being able to handhold something and just move the monitor around to whatever angle I need it to be. And often if I'm having to unscrew something and twist it, it becomes a real pain and, and slows me down. And sometimes I even bend things in the moment, which frustrates my ACs. So I gotta give a big thank you to Bright Tangerine for letting me use a Titan Arm. It, it changed my experience a lot. So when you're shooting in the desert, you're always dealing with weather. Lots of sun, lots of wind, or rain. And we got all of that in our two day window that we were there. So I use the Bright Tangerine Misfit Kick Matte Box a lot to protect the lens, to drop in different filters, to use their Rotopolar tray. And I found it very modular, very easy to use. I had it on when it was raining to help protect the lens. And that's always a huge thing, is a matte box that's lightweight, that's three stage, allows me to move filters in and out very easily, and I can even grab onto it sometimes. And it's sturdy and hangs onto the camera. And I like that. I like sturdy, lightweight matte boxes that are very functional. So due to the time constraints and the fact that we were shooting two magic hours a day and wanting to capture as much as possible, I used the new Canon 25 to 250 zoom lens a lot. So I put that on the camera with the bright tangerine accessories. It worked great. It was lightweight, it was strong, it was rigid. I could move it around in different setups, drop it on a slider, or put it up on my shoulder, and I found it didn't get in my way. Nothing was too heavy, and that's huge with accessories, is, is that they integrate in a way where you don't even have to think about them. And that was what Bright Tangerine did for me on this shoot. Thanks for joining us here at Bright Tangerine. I hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit about Boneyard Ballet.